So I've just pulled over. Um, I'm about 25 minutes away from the main part of the national park because check out this view here. There's a view of some mountains in the distance there. It's absolutely beautiful. And what a stunning day. All you can see is the uh, clouds from the plains. And we are today, of course, in the Picasso Adventure Mobile again, where all good adventures start. This is wicked. The colour of the water. It's incredible. It's like turquoise. It's actually a bit cold in the mouth because of the wind. I think this is more of a fishing beach. There's quite a few people fishing. Check out how clear the water is there. Bought myself a little uh, pet lunch today, so I'm gonna just chill out here, have my lunch. And it's not a bad spot to uh, have a nice bit of uh, bit of food. Absolutely stunning. The quality of the water is unbelievable. It looks like over there I might be able to hire some kind of sup board or kayak, so I'll probably do that. I rented a bloody kayak. <laughs> Check this out. So I'm heading into that gorge there. Look at the water. Let's go. This is such an awesome experience. It's so beautiful. The turquoise colour water. And the gorges, the, the cliff faces, they're so steep. And you can just relax and drift for a little bit. Oh, absolutely stunning. So glad I did this. And for only 10 euros as well. What a bargain. literally see the bottom of the water here. I need to try and turn this baby around. Let's go. Come on. The wind is making this super difficult. Turn it around. Maybe I need to get closer to the side. I just keep blowing around. I need to find a little there. Uh, shaded bit. Okay, you can watch me try and turn this around because. There we are. I knew that this cove would do me good. Come on. Come on. I'm just heading back in now. The paddle back up, I didn't really realise that when I was going down, uh, there was a proper flow of water, so it was quite difficult paddling back up. Um, but I'm just getting a bit choppy now. Oh, I'm flipping around, hold on. There you go, check that out behind me. <laughs> Unbelievable. This village is so beautiful. Uh, I think I'm going to get some food and maybe a little coffee somewhere because it's just absolutely sunny and there's little waterfalls, beautiful little French streets. Getting a chestnut cream crepe in this little spot. Check this out. Let's 
So I've eaten my crepe, it was very nice. Cashew cream, something that I've never tried before I had in it. Um, and I'm just heading up now to some kind of chapel, I think. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful view when I get up there. Steep though, very steep. Let's check out this view here. Ooh. So, that path that I was on didn't take me towards the uh, chapel that I was looking to go to, but it took me to another nice little bridge, and it was actually on Google Maps, it said it was like a waterfall, so, but it, it was dry, it was completely dry. It's a cool little step up. Oh shit. Oh, this is the way that I came. Oh, I think I might be on someone's... This looks like it's someone's uh, private bit. <laughs> I don't think it's private actually. It's proper little. Whoa! Nearly went there. Proper little path and steps here, so. <laughs> Nearly bowled over. I could just spend hours walking around this place. I'll put the name on the screen because I can't remember it. It's quite long and it's probably quite difficult to pronounce, but. Just little bits like this, you know? The colours of the houses and so stunning. I've made it up to the chapel, I think. It's a steep old walk up. It's a really, uh, really beautiful chapel that is. I don't know whether uh, it's Catholic or Christian or a br another branch of Christianity, I'm not sure. But it's really, really calming in there and really quiet. And it's, it's so bright outside. It was just the stained glass window, so it's really dark and the candlelight, so it's beautiful. It's just amazing that it's built into this, this, uh, this gorge, massive hillside here because Look at how far down all that is there. And you've got this incredible building here. Okay, so I'm back in the car after the walk up to the chapel, which is really nice actually. Um, I'm just looking on the map on Google. So I'm here, I've driven up this side, so I think I'm just going to come back down this side. I've just pulled over because the view from up here, because I've just been climbing up. I haven't really seen anything apart from mountains in the distance and now I'm above the, the reservoir. Ooh, look at the colour. Still can't get over the colour. Absolutely spectacular. Let's walk around here a little bit because I think there might be a better view around here. Check this view out. Absolutely unbelievable. This is just absolutely epic. I did not think it was going to be this good, honestly. I'd seen pictures of this, uh, the Verdon Gorge and the reservoir and the water, but it doesn't, oh, it's just, it just doesn't do it justice when you see it in real life. I mean, the pictures don't do it justice until you see it in real life. Right, on to the next little village. There she is. The Picasso, a beauty. I'm really thankful to my uh, the host at my work away who has lent me the car um, for any time that I need to use it, and especially um, she encouraged me to actually go out and explore the local area and offered me the use of the Citroen, which is fantastic because it means I don't have to use my van and um, obviously miles and stuff on the van, but also just having a load of stuff in the back of the van. Um, you know, it's all rattling about. I can just hop in the car, take a rucksack, and I'm gone. So I've made it to this uh, village, and there's a nice little coastline. Um, I'm gonna head down to <laughs> Lizard Watch. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go in. 
I think it's too cold. <laughs> I might put my feet in and see. So I've come down to the beach and got myself a little passion fruit sorbet with a view. So yeah, I've basically just been sunbathing for the past <laughs> half an hour. I did dip my feet in, but it was quite cold. There's a bit of a wind, so when I when I get the fox to go in and then get back out, I think I'll be really cold. Probably be better off with a wetsuit. It's only like 16, 17 degrees, so it's not as warm as I thought it was going to be, but it'd be a beautiful area to swim in the peak of summer. Still only April, early April, so. This regional park is absolutely stunning. If you're ever in the area, do not hesitate to come because the views are just incredible and the water quality and there's water sports you can do. You can hire boats, hire canoes. on I've just got here uh, what a beautiful area this is 